Se tudo correr bem, estamos vivendo um momento histórico lindo e novo. Os jovens terão nos dado uma lição. On the situation in Brazil. So I want to talk about this more tomorrow because obviously we're running out of time. But the situation in Brazil is that there's a politician who is quote unquote far right, which is to say he's a populist. Uh, his name is Yair. I think it's Yair. I'm not sure how you pronounce. Is it, is it Yair? Jair? Okay, so send you knows. Uh, Bolsonaro. He won Brazil's presidential election on Sunday. The reason that he won the election is because the communists have been running Brazil for the past 10, 15 years, and they are deeply corrupt. They kept getting thrown out of office over corruption. Brazil's economy has stagnated, and so Bolsonaro came in saying, I'm going to deregulate the economy. I'm going to fight crime, and they elected him over this, and people are panicking. Oh, it's the end of democracy in Brazil. Okay, we'll find out, but it seems like democracy in Brazil had some real problems with the communists in the very recent past. And not only that, if Brazil did not rapidly shift course on economics and on crime, the hope for the future in Brazil was not bright. It, it's, it's so funny how folks on the left seem to ignore the fact that it was left malfeasance, corruption, and inability to run a country that led to Bolsonaro's win. Okay, Bolsonaro said, we cannot continue flirting with communism. We're going to change the destiny of Brazil. He rejected the leftist PT that ran Brazil for 13 of the last 15 years. They were ousted two years ago in the midst of a deep recession and political graft scandal. Bolsonaro won a sweeping victory. He won 55% of the vote. That is a very, very broad victory in Brazil. Folks who are panicking on, you know, in the United States are panicking for the same reason that they look at, at Europe and they see right parties in Europe panicking. Bolsonaro's view of economics is much more akin to a free market system of economics than anything the left was proposing. And that is one of the driving factors here. Brazil was misrun in a, in a brutal fashion over the last 15 years. The, the old joke about Brazil that was always told is Brazil is the country of the future and always will be. Well, maybe if they actually shifted economic policy, maybe if they started tamping down crime, then things would change. I ask you to be witnesses of the fact that the new government will guarantee the construction of democracy and liberty. It's a promise. It's not a, the, part, the promise of a party. It's a, an oath. A sacred oath. Freedom will liberate this country. Freedom will turn us into a great nation. The truth will shine and will guide us as it has guided us all along and will continue to guide us. So if you like this kind of content, consider subscribing yourself to the channel. So we help my channel to grow more. It's a way to show some gratitude to the work that I do. Thank you so much. So thank you every party who makes a comment over here. I may not reply of one. No, but I read all of them. You can be sure of that. Very sure. So thank you every party. I hope you have a blood perfect day. Wait. No, don't forget to share on your Twitter, on your WhatsApp, so every party can have access to this kind of content as well. And you are helping the team so, so, so much. Thank you, every party. Love you all. Bye. A primeira vista, esse movimento parecia uma pequena provocação inútil que muitos criticaram erradamente. O Brasil parecia desabitado politicamente. De repente, reapareceu o povo. Os jovens despertaram porque ninguém aguenta mais ver a República paralisada por interesses partidários ou privados. É preciso uma política nova se reinventando. Se tudo correr bem, estamos vivendo um momento histórico lindo e novo. Os jovens terão nos dado uma lição. O corrupto vai pro inferno com passagem só de ida. O gigante acordou e vai foder com a tua vida.